All new tonight at 530, making the most out of solar when there's not a lot of sun. Experts say while solar panels don't produce as much during the winter months, there are little things you can do to jumpstart the process. News for us, Jen Shantz has some helpful tips. Jen? That's right, Nalina. Solar panel upkeep is actually pretty simple. They're highly durable and designed to function in any kind of climate. Luckily for Western New Yorkers, this year's November weather gave solar panels an extra boost. Unlike last November, when roofs were pounded with heavy snow and ice, this year, solar panel owners in western New York put energy in the bank. Some of our models are showing 190% compared to last year. So, so yeah, we've seen substantial increases in production. This homeowner in West Seneca racked up almost 400 kilowatts of solar energy during November, well above the readings from October. Going into the winter months, panels work a little slower. Darren Harzeski installs solar panels with CIR Electric. He says customers often worry about their panels come winter, but they really don't need to. Panels are extremely durable, so that's one of the big things, one of the big benefits of, of solar, is that they kind of just sit there and work. There's no annual maintenance or anything that's needed because there's nothing mechanical about them. When it comes to durability, you want to think of your panels just like the windshield of your car when it comes to hail and ice. It's possible to crack, but highly unlikely. In fact, before panels can be installed, they're required to be both snow and hail tested. Panels heat up when exposed to even small amounts of solar energy, so most of the time they melt the snow themselves. But just in case, try one of these. They're only about 25 bucks. It's a roof rake with a foam head made specifically for uh, cleaning off solar panels. Uh, so the foam head obviously isn't going to scratch or damage the panels themselves, but allows us to pull off any snow. CIR is booked for new installations all the way up through April, and federal tax incentives are ticking away, too. Coming up tonight at 6, how much time you've got until they run out and what it'll cost you after they do. In the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 530.